goddamn ghost, can't you see? I've decided! Today, I'm beating a hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Violet using exclusively shiny ghost Pokemon. My name is Ghosty, and I'm a ghost. Here are the rules I'll be following for this video, and tell me, what's your favorite shiny ghost Pokemon? Leave a comment and let me know. And while you're down there, why not subscribe? Yeah, you're not a ghost type. Weed Cat? Yeah, that ain't it either. Fire Dino? Oh, it eventually evolves into a ghost type. All right, come on, Fuey Coco. I'm gonna put you and a Ditto in a picnic, and you guys better send out a pink one of these. Who's more ghostly and creepy? Me, the ghost guy, or that kid in the back going six pixels a second? I will consume your soul. <laughs> the plan is simple. We now have our foreign ditto. We have our ditto. We have our Fue Coco. We make picnic. Okay, you two need to get in that picnic and you need to get down to business. You need to be making those eggs, boy. Diggity. We're gonna probably be here for a while. And while I'm hatching the eggs, right over here, I can hunt for Ghastly. Oh, is that Shiny Ghastly? I think it is. I think it is. Score! Shiny Ghastly! This is below the level cap of 15, so that is good. And, first ball! Let's go! I, I think I spelled that right. The Shinigami. The Shinigami's gotta come and get ya. And after 310 eggs, finally... Shiny I named it Spirit, and now it's time to take on Katie and her bug squad. First, of course, she leads with Nimble, but our little Spirit takes it out easy. We should one-shot everything. Nice. It lived. Wow, okay. And we say goodbye to Teddy Ursa. See you later, buddy. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have terastalized them. That would have been a little bit harder for me. I came here for cupcakes! Is that EDP? But to take on the Titan Pokemon, I'd probably need the help of another shiny Pokemon. Oh! Shiny Monkey! Monkey! Behave, Monkey. Monkey? 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 You mean monkey? Monkey! No, that's definitely a monkey. Monkey! Whatever! Nice! Let's go! Monkey acquired. I cannot wait to see Annihilate. I actually don't remember what a shinies looks like. Well, to get this thing to evolve, we probably have to actually progress through the game. So let's go take on Quarf, the Stony Cliff Titan. Surely this thing is heavy, right? It's a giant Titan. Does it affect its weight? Vice grip. What the? Okay, okay, we nearly take it out. <laughs> Wait, Ghastly's OP. We didn't even need to get Mankey because Corp doesn't even know any rock. Oh my god, I always forget that. As long as long as Shelter Water Guns next turn, we should take it out. Even if we don't knock it, we don't lose anything. Yo, Mankey, the monkey. Let's go. Look at my horde of flowers. But it was time to take on the next gym, and it's gym leader Brassius. I decided to lead with the Shinigami since it's supposed to bring death and all of that, so out it goes to take down Petalil. We do so with a single Venoshock, and in comes Smollow. One Venoshock later, and we say goodbye. But now it was time to take on his ace, Pseudo Wudo. Surely a Venoshock will take it out, right? Hmm, guess not. We just need to survive the, the trailblaze. Did we survive the trailblaze? What? No! We didn't even get to evolve Shinigami! Oh, that's so annoying! Really? It does that much damage? Trailblaze does that much damage. Oh my god. Yes, you dummy. It's because you terrestrialized pure ghost. If you kept your poison resistance and weren't such an idiot, Shinigami the Ghastly would still be alive. <sighs> this should take it out. Oh no, we lost Ghastly already! What the heck? But with Ghastly gone, we'd have to find a replacement. And with the Electric Gym upcoming, I knew the perfect ghost Pokemon to add to the team. Yeah! 
Yo, let's go, shiny sandy goss. It's got a spade in its head. It's definitely dead. Yeah, if I had a spade in my head, I'd, I'd probably be dead. It's a ghost. It's obviously dead. Duh. Okay. I really wanted you to catch first ball so I don't uh, get scared. Um, I'm nervous. Stand the ball. Please stand the ball. Please stand the ball. Wait. Let's go! Dumpy. Welcome to the team, Dumpy. But before we could take on the electric gym, we had two more tasks to tackle. First being the open sky titan, Bombardier. Oh no. Oh my lordy lord. Okay, okay, at least that did solid damage. The problem with this titan is it never gives you the opportunity to heal between fights. So we have to go into the next battle with Dumpy already super weak. Alright, Dumpy come back. I'm scared to lose you. If I lose spirit, I can replace spirit with literally several edge. It will literally do the exact same job. So if that happens, it's fine. Oh god. Oh, we're in blaze range now. At least we're doing a little bit more damage with our attack then. Yo, that's insane damage! Oh, so close. If I swap to Spectre, can it take one pluck? I think, I don't think it can take a pluck. Yeah, I don't. So, all right, screw it. Oh, I went for freaking Ackley, let's go! Oh, okay. We did it, but now we have to take on Giacomo. So we take down his first Pokemon with a low kick from Mankey. Oh, it drops attack. Maybe Intimidate's kind of annoying, so... I'm gonna swap over to Spirit. Special defense drop. Okay, that could be bad. Oh my god, the rain! Okay, now we go for the big cross chop. And I have the wide scope on, so hopefully we get to create a new one shot. Okay, good enough. Oh, you know, I should have low kick. That's dumb. Because it's so heavy, it'll it, it, low kick would definitely do more. Yeah, dude, what was I thinking? Alright, whatever. Er, I mean, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. No! No! no. 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 And so if you want to battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this live stream a viral hit. I need to try and make this video a viral hit. I, I, I can barely do that. Is that shiny? I think it is shiny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ghastly, let me go! Shiny Bramblin! Wait, Bramblin? I don't know what it's called. Bramblin, let's go! Yes! Nest ball! Get in the nest ball, Bramblin! Let's go! Shiny Bramblin was caught! Great. Another one of these stupid walking evolutions. But I have such a gigantic brain. I have an easy strategy to get the 1,000 steps in. And just like that, we rubber band the sticks together and the game plays itself. Giganto brain. Alright, well while we wait for this Bramblin, I might as well open a pack of Pokemon cards. Hopefully you get something cool. This is also a little foreshadowing for next week's video, by the way. Running boots! Oh, Roxanne. Reggie Drago! <gasps> Arceus V-Star! But the best is yet to come. Whoa! Like the Hisui boys and girls? God damn! And, uh, uh, what is that? Weeds is evolving! It's a bigger piece of weed! This is such a mid Pokemon, honestly. But I tell you what, it is gonna help me beat this cream streamer. But now it's time to take on Iona and her electric squad. Alright, so plan is incinerate the bird. Oh, crit! Nice, we'll take it. Alright, goodbye, Watchroom. Uh, Belly Bolt is definitely problematic. I don't love Belly Bolt. Incinerate. And I don't like how much damage we just did either. That's kind of not a lot. Water gun? How much was that? We'd already taken one plot's worth. 
I think we can do incinerate once more. We what? what the heck, man? Just... Oh my god, this is bad. Are you serious? It lived? This just got really bad really quick. But we did just lower its speed, so we might outspeed this time. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, okay. Okay, so, terrestrialize grassy terrain now. Okay, 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 okay. So, goodbye, Luxio. Take a seat to the dome, bro. Now for the demon herself. The problem child, Miss Magius. Miss Magius? It's definitely Miss Magius. Don't you dare do it. Don't you do it. Let's go, okay. One seed bomb. Is this enough to take? It is enough to take it out. Let's go! That was looking absolutely horrible. We lost spirit, so that's not great. But what is great is I basically found his replacement almost instantly. Shiny chocolate! Shiny chocolate! Let's go! Oh. It's spirit. He's come back. He's reincarnated as a Charcadet. Woohoo! Set of malice armor. Wow! What an amazing shiny. Far out. This is one of the worst shinies ever made. God damn. But my next challenge was to take on the Steel Titan Orthworm, and Seraledge would come in pretty handy for this fight. Flame charge, bang, yeah. Works for me, you stupid little slug. Right here, right now, you're going down. Yeah, I was just about to say that. You stole my line, what the heck? Oh, you're setting up drought torco? Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I came prepared with solar blade. That's right. Because the sun's up, I don't have to wait a turn to use it. We absorb light in one single turn and instantly get to use Solar Blade. 125 base attack. Right. Okay, well, Torko went down anyway. Maybe it doesn't have any attacks that can actually hit me. All it knows is two fire moves and two normal moves, which obviously can't hit Sarah Ledge at all. And goodbye. Time to challenge the water gym. Hey, where are you running off to? I guess Kofu can't handle the smoke. I need to get some of that weed. Dude, it's not weed, it's seaweed. There's a difference. Ah, same thing. This gym battle went pretty smoothly as I set up a grassy terrain first turn and then just seed bombed everything. But I think it's about time we go and find our fifth team member. But we'd have to get really lucky with this one. Not only did we have to find that super rare shiny Pokemon, but it also had to be a female. Oh, shiny Snow Run! Let's go! Please! Female, 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 female! Hello there. Let's go! Shiny Snow Run Female Edition! Edition? Like, no, don't catch me! Don't! You're taking my wife! You're taking my wife! Yes, your shiny wife is now mine, and I will evolve her shortly. Wow. Is that Nokimon? Oh, I'm changing the nickname to Noki. Screw Obi! You're no longer Obi, you're now Noki. Ah, much better. But before we took on the next gym, I wanted my Primeape to finally evolve into an Annihilate. That means going and punching a bunch of small Pokemon in the face over and over. Rage Fist Montage! Oh, yo! He's sick, it's like navy blue kinda? Blue, gray, navy, blue, gray, navy, Annihilate? That's sick, I love that. That's a cool shiny. 
now that we've got Annihilate, with it, we really shouldn't have a problem. I don't think Kamala can hit me with many moves. And Sucker Punch does a lot. Okay, it's fine. That takes it out. Unfortunately though, we did take a little bit of damage from Kamala on the first turn, so I didn't want to risk keeping Annihilate in against the Raptor. So I swapped over to Spirit, and unfortunately we took a lot of damage on Entrance. So I decided to Willow Wisp it, which would obviously burn it and then reduce its damage, meaning I could finish it off with a couple of flame charges without it being able to deal any decent damage. Larry is defeated. See you later, loser. Lazy loser Larry. But now it was time to take on quite a difficult fight. The chance of getting poisoned here and losing a Pokemon is always quite high. So I'm gonna have to come up with a solid plan if I want to beat Atticus. Yo, man, just did a backflip. Nah, that's actually not that impressive. I can do that as well, as a matter of fact. Uh... <laughs> See, I told you I could. Now, let's take on Atticus. Plan is to maybe build up the Rage Fists. It's not how many times you get hit. It's about how many times you get back up. Doesn't matter. Okay, down goes Skunk Tank, right? This should one shot it. Cool, alright. Okay. I'm so mad! Yeah! Okay, we've got crit. So, yeah, one of these ones will... <laughs> it really be living that? What? Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just for you, I'm only going to use one Rage Fist because I'm scared to lose Annihilate from a Noxious Talk. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. We're sw oh, we're poisoned as well. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to lose Annihilate. Okay, we'll, we'll go for the Shadow Claw. Hopefully, it does... Okay, that's that's good enough. Let's go. Navi Starmobile. See you later. <laughs> ah! Yo, that is a massive hole. Heading up to Gym 6, it's now that we have to take on another Ghost Specialist. But which Ghost Specialist is better? I guess it's time to find out. Shadow Snake. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Don't both attack. Okay, yeah, split it, split it. That's that's good. Yep, attack different ones. That's ideal. Okay, there's the Shadow Snake. Okay, we take it. Cool, that's fine. We've been hit twice, though, now. We knock Houndstone with the Shadow Claw. Perfect. And Rage Fist with two hits should have ramped up a decent amount. To one-shot Mimikyu. All right. Shadow Claw, that should one shot, yeah. Alright, see ya. Thank you, Rhyme. Easiest gym fight ever. Finally an easy fight. Every other fight we've had recently has been a goddamn slog. And I thought the next Titan was going to be a slog as well, but turns out, when you have an Annihilate on your team, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Ketcha! Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, crit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> But heading into the final part of the game, I thought we should probably pick up our final shiny Pokemon. Well, hopefully it's our final shiny Pokemon. Go! Oh, shiny Sableye! Yay! Hey! Look at that golden boy! Let's go! Ah, what a little gremlin! Oh yes, I'm Sableye, the gremlin! <laughs> so, we're gonna go for the cross chop. And hopefully that does enough. Out comes Gardevoir. Then we can probably outspeed it and hit it with a Rage Fish and it should one-shot it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you can't hit me, you fool, you fool. You can hit me with a Shadow Ball, though. Okay. Down goes the Spathro to a Shadow Claw. And now we've got to deal with this flower Pokemon that's not even a grass type. Someone explain that to me. I can just Shadow or twice, probably. Maybe even just once. Yeah, alright, nice. There we go. Absolute menace this guy is, but his shiny still sucks. Alright, first turn. The Bitter Blade. Oh my god, the Bitter Blade is going to be OP. I'm so excited. Okay, Sword Stance and Bitter Blade everything into Oblivion. Raise my attack sharply. 
Yeah, shouldn't do too much. Oh. My. Lord. Oh, we thaw out straight away! That's right! I'm a mother loving beast! Hit him with a bit of blade! And we heal all our health back, baby. Yeah, okay, there goes that amazing plan, but I guess not. We, we pull through. Sarah Ledge is just that good. Shame it's shiny, it's not a little better, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Alright, bear tick next. Jaw! Nice. Now, so Titan does have uh, liquid. Liquidy. He does have liquid fun, so this will do a little bit of damage, but we should be able to take it. Yep, cool. And then Bitter Blade, restore almost to full health. Full? Oh, we get to full. Okay, perfect. Man, this gimmick sucks. Can they just bring back Mega Evolution? Like, honestly. And that's how we easily beat the Ice Gym. Now, up next is the Fairy Star Base. And who knows how this is going to go, honestly. I'm always scared of fairy types. Azumarill first is why I led with my boy, Mr. Weedman. First step, of course, is to set up a grassy terrain uh, to increase my grass damage. Wow. Okay, that did some damage. Okay, Seed Bomb should take it out, at least. Try and hit it with a Confuse Ray and then swap out, I think, is the plan. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Okay, I mean, whatever, sure. Okay, it's fine. Uh, Snowscape at least is raising our defense. So, and then we've also got increased evasion because of our ability, Snow Cloak. Nice, okay. Didn't do much, but that's not the point. The point is to then hex it. Okay, that did not... We snapped our first turn. What is this fight? This fight is bullshit. This is a gu guaranteed crit as well, so maybe this will. Damn it! This not. E we haven't even dodged one, and we miss. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Okay, cool. Okay, at least please just hit this. Okay. Whatever. This ridiculous. Uh, you know what? I actually think this might be alright. Nice. Okay. And we get our health back. Now we just need to take out the, the actual car itself. Okay, we're two-shotting. Okay. We just need to survive whatever attack it goes for. Musical talk. We're good. Alright. Nice. We've done it. This can be a hard fight, but considering what we managed to do with Sarah Ledge, it all worked out. But now it's time to take on the final titan of the game, and man can this thing be scary. But, with the power of my weed, we can take it down easy peasy. Let's go, Mr. Weed Man! Oh, you wanna fight again? Let's go! Oh, your little child? I'll take that down too! Ooh! You can't hit me because I'm the Wind Rider, baby! My attack raises even more, you fool! You think you can hit me with the icy wind? Did you not learn from your previous mistake, you fool? Oh yeah, we take it down next time with a big fat C. This brings us to the final team starbase. And the fighting starbase is always super scary. But since we're a team of ghost types, the majority of their moves can't even hit me. Alright, go Dumpy! You're gonna take out Toxic Rogue for me, alright man? Alright, hit him with the earth power! Oh, we're getting sucker punched. That, okay, I, that didn't do as much as I thought it was going to, so, good. Earth power! Yeah, one shot. See you later, Toxic Rogue. This thing has seed bombs, so I'm going to swap on it. Sword Stance, now. Then Psycho Cut, we one shot Persimian, guaranteed. And then we can bit a Blade Lucario to heal all of our health back up. Oh, maybe we should bit a blade this, actually, to get some health back. Oh, we just got speed dropped. Um, uh, maybe this is not ideal. We'll take our health back, thank you very much. Okay, is that enough to survive a Dark Pulse? Yeah, thought so. Now hit it with a bit of blade! Nice. Even if Annihilate manages to hit me first with Rage Fist, its damage won't be boosted, and we're no longer a ghost type, so it shouldn't one-shot me. 
and that should mean we should survive it. Okay, dude, chill. I was explaining. Ragefish shouldn't take me out. Nice. And then our Shadow Claw should one shot it. Nice. All right. Leaving just the Calf Starmobile. Half. It's gonna outspeed. And it gets an attack raise as well. And just like that, the final team starbase is taken down and we can make our way over to the Elite Four. And hopefully my Ghost God can take it down. And so it began as I took down Pokemon after Pokemon after Pokemon, eventually making it all the way up to the champion. Well, 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 if it isn't Gita, you're about to get a fat loss. Espathra first. I feel like we just fought Espathra. But I think if we Swords Dance and just raise our attack up, we should be good to deal with most things in this fight. Oh, yo, it has Opportunist. Oh, God. Oh, God. That did so much and it crit. All right, Shadow Claw should take this out. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, Ice Type. We should be able to take that out. I know it is very physically bulky, but I don't think it's going to matter. One Terra Boosted bit of Blade coming up. Bye, Avalog. And we crit. We didn't need the crit, but I'll take it. A Steel type Pokemon, eh? Oh, it's gained strength from the Fallen. Ooh, that could be concerning. Psych! No, it's not! What? The loser's a water type, so that could do a lot of damage. But it's also a psychic type, so we Shadow Claw it. See you later, the loser. The loser! B -b 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 a blade. Hacha. And finally, Glamora. Maybe... I know it has Earth Power. We have been specially defense drops. Maybe we should actually switch. We can go into Annihilate. It should go down to a close combat. How did it outspeed? Okay, it's fine. We live. We lived. Okay. If we didn't live, I would have been very annoyed, but we did live, so. Thank you, Gita. How you, about you, Geet out of here? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go take on that Eevee girl. What's that haircut even? Like, bro, come on. No wonder you're getting made fun of. Okay, Cross Chop takes. What? It lived? No shot. That's crazy. It really lived that, huh? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is a good idea, actually. Oh. Raise my fire type move even more? Sure. I don't see a problem with that. Oh no, you dropped my attack stat. What if I raise it by two stages? There's no reason not to max out my attack with sword stance, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get all the way up to 6, and then knock it out. Alright, now that we've maxed out our attack, we'll just go for a Shadow Claw, which will one-shot. Damn it, okay, well, we're at 5. That's still enough. 5 stages raised, definitely still enough. Okay, and a single Shadow Claw should take it out, I think. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, we win. <laughs> We win! Oh, that's so free. I hate I hate that it's that free, but I also don't because we really outspeed and Jolteon. That's kind of crazy. Eevee Girl destroyed by Sarah Ledge. Goddamn, Sarah Ledge is OP, and I've never had the chance to use one, so this has been awesome. We then take down Mr. Daddy Issues himself and make our way over to fight Nimona. What could be the most difficult battle in the whole run. Now this thing's going to outspeed me and it probably goes... Probably sets up Stealth Rocks, I would guess. Oh my god, my brain is massive. How did I know it would do that? But we take it out. Okay, so that that's fine. 
I don't think the Stealth Rock should affect this much, but I guess we'll see. I feel like it's going to go for the the Double Shock, so if I swap over to Dumpy, we'll resist it. And then maybe it won't lose its Electric Typing, which then means I can hit it with a, a Earth Power. D there's the Double Shock. Doesn't affect, because it didn't connect. Yeah, okay. Oh, it has Ice Punch. Okay, it's fine. Our defense is crazy. Earth Power! Now, we should be able to take one more Dragon Pulse. And it's good to know that we outspeed. Because th this isn't going to one-shot it. But we will survive this Dragon Pulse. And now we'll be able to take it out with another Rage Fist. Now we're, we're two-stage Rage Fist boosted. What I think... I think I'll do against Dunn's boss is just hit it with a close combat to def definitely knock it out. We can take out Orthworm with another close combat as well, I think. Yep, shoot out speed. Nice! Down it goes. Okay. Leaving just Meowskarada. I do need to Terastalize though. Oh shit! Stone damage. I totally forgot about stone damage. Ooh. It went for play rock. Uh, I think I just risk it. Terrestrial has bitter blade. Pray. Fingers crossed. Oh, it definitely goes for Shadow Claw. Let's go! <sighs> See you later, Meowskarada! This is legit incredible! You're the strongest out there, Ghosty! Yeah, damn right I am! But to test that theory, we'd have to make our way into Area Zero, where we'd take on the most difficult, scariest, most demonic creature of them all! You shiny poor me. Hello. No, not that! I'm talking about AI Turo! Can my Ghost Team even beat it? I don't know. It's definitely gonna be a close one, and we might lose a couple of Pokémon. Initiated battle. That's pretty cool. I like that. Iron Moth. All right. Earth Power. Go. Fiery Dance. What does that do? That, just... that did a lot of damage. I was not expecting it to do that much. I thought that would not be very effective. But I guess I'm tripping. Okay. Well, whatever. We take it down anyway. Jugulus. Okay. Oh, probably because I'm a ground type and it's flying, meaning I can't hit it. Um. Since we're gonna go down, just try and put it to sleep. All oh, right, 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 right. It's seeing the dark knock there. But what you don't know is my whole team a ghost type, so you probably wanted to save that. But okay, all right, Noki Mon, it's time to show that you're actually worth having on the team. Cause so far, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to snowscape. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was, maybe it's a me problem. <laughs> yeah, I definitely messed up with that. That was... Yeah, I've really messed up, yeah. Seralege could clutch this out for me, but I'm not sure. Um... Ooh, what? That bit of blade damage! Let's go! Okay! I was not expecting that. Okay, we get the seed bomb off. Massive. Absolutely massive. And we take it out. Nice. Okay. okay that is actually- Oh, we crit. Okay. Whatever. If that's how we took it out, I don't care. I'll take it. Okay. We're gonna send in Annihilate. I'd rather not lower my- Yeah, I don't want to lower my defense against- Iron Hand, so I'm gonna stay in and pray for the... Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, at least it crit. That kind of makes up for it. I, I think we would have took it down anyway. Oh my lord. I can't believe we missed that cross drop. Okay, Iron Hand. What is gonna deal more damage? Rage Fist or Stomping Tantrum? I think I go for the Stomping Tantrum. Wow. 
maybe I should done Rage Fist. All we have left is Spirit 2. The spiritual successor to Spirit 1. May God rest his soul. It's down to him to take out not only Iron Hands here, but also the Iron Valiant. Sword Stance Bitter Blade is the play. We, whatever damage we take here, we should be able to get back with Bitter Blade. And we take it out. Okay. We should one-shot Iron Valiant. We should one-shot it. Oh my god, this is so stressful. In comes Iron Valiant. Um, okay. So. Oh, and to boost energy as well. Right, 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 right. The best thing I can do is just pray that we outspeed. If we don't, pray that it can't do enough damage to us to one-shot us. But, alright, it's time to find out. We outspeed. And we take it out with a Psycho Cut! Let's go! Oh, we crit! Oh, yes! Let's go! Spirit 2, the most horrible shiny ever made. Well, one of the worst or most laziest. Clutches out the run for us. Let's go! We did it. Yay! Woo! Okay, hit the like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Next video is a banger, I swear. Click one of these things, you know how it is, and uh...